Hello YouTube, and slightly more importantly, Jimmy, uh, if you're watching this. Uh, you, you, Jimmy, uh, posted the Terrible Tuesday dream vlog, and I normally was going to just do dream vlog video responses on Thursday, but I feel like replying to this one today, partly because if I, even if I still reply to this one on Thursday, you probably wouldn't see it if I replied to the Tuesday video on Thursday or something. And I wouldn't want to reply to the Thursday video talking about the Tuesday video. So I'm just going to post this one, even though it's already hours later. Um, 18 hours later. But anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about two dreams, really, because they're slightly similar. Uh, they're related to the same topic that you posted uh, about losing a family member. The first dream I can remember, at least I'm pretty sure it's the first dream I can remember, I was in the house that I used to live in uh, in Sacramento and this was like back when I was like five years old or something, really young. I always use five years old as like really young age, I don't know. But anyways, the first dream I can remember, I was in that house with my brother, sister, mom, and dad, and we're in the kitchen, and down the long hallway, at the at the very end, there was this furnace that wasn't there in real life, but in the dream there was this furnace, and the first boss in the Super Nintendo Power Rangers game, the, like, skeleton, musketeer, conquistador, not conquistador, but musketeer-type person, uh, he crawled out of the furnace, and then came up to us and like stabbed each of us in the stomach um, and he stabbed me last and when I got stabbed I woke up essentially killing us all which is kind of morbid for a five-year-old to be dreaming about but in the dream it wasn't that bad I suppose like I didn't wake up in tears or anything which is kind of strange but Another really early dream that I remember was a dream where I was on this playground set and it was like right by the stairs of it and my mom was there and I can't remember how but she fell down the stairs and was tumbling and apparently at the end of the stairs she like crashed into a like a convenience store type place and like knocked over some shelves or something and I remember like she was kneeling down and I was st sitting there in front of her and I remember her in like this praying position and like I could see her soul like floating out of her and obviously I knew that she was dying or died and it was probably the saddest dream I've ever had and it was back when I was really little and I remember seeing something on TV where it was like some challenge where you had to try to make yourself cry while a bunch of other people were making you laugh like part of some game show and I just remember like thinking of that dream was probably what I would do in that situation because thinking of that dream would make me cry even if other people were trying to make me laugh but since I was really little and then happened and now I've grown up, I guess, not like grown out of sadness, but like I've sort of jaded myself to it or gotten used to sadness, I guess. It doesn't affect me as much. Uh, but just on that general topic, kind of like a personal note about me that I don't really get emotional about a lot of things. Even things that like everyone should get emotional about, I just don't. Um, one reason death doesn't affect me as much, I guess, is just for my Christian beliefs, like, if you're saved, and you put your faith in God, when you die, you go to heaven. So it's not terrible, I guess. Like, I, I'm not trying to underplay death, but, like, it is a better place to be heaven than earth. But then on the flip side of that, if you're not saved, 
then when you die you go to hell and that is by far the worst place I mean there's only three places you can go earth heaven or hell but it does sadden me to know that how many people are I mean I say by my beliefs which obviously I believe it so to me it's true but I'm not gonna like force that on you or anything but to me it is sad to see how many people are going to hell and how this is going to be their best time and that's why so many people are afraid of death because and I won't say that everyone has like an innate knowing that they're going to go to hell but just that fear of losing this losing earth, losing this life losing everything they've known because I mean I'm sure there are a lot of people that are Christians that are saved that still fear death not because they fear they're going to go to hell, but because they fear giving up everything on earth, even though you know that heaven is better. Even if even if you knew 100% for sure that heaven was better, you would still be afraid of losing everything here. It's kind of strange to think about for me, but I don't know, I kind of rambled. It's kind of a long video for me. Uh, so I'll end it here. I'll probably still do a dream vlog Thursday. And that is it. See ya.